Hello, and thank you for joining me today on Loyal World Info. Another day of the globe spinning, another day of global news to digest. I offer a sane, rational voice in an insane, rational time. I will be your host, and let's get into today's topics. Okay, so let's get with our first story of the day. Lao students Opson from Vietnamese college and cross borders illegally. So let's read a little bit about this. 54 students from Laos studying in Vietnam have returned to Laos without permission and have failed to place themselves under quarantine for 14 days in line with regulations. The Ministry of Education and Sports is calling on the 54 students to present themselves and enter into quarantine for 14 days. Those who fail to do so will be punished in accordance with the law and will not be allowed to return to their studies. The Quan Tri Department of Foreign Affairs reported the issue to the Consulate General of Lao in Da Nang last Sunday. The report stated that on the 24th of July, 56 Lao students at the Quan Tri Medical College ascended from their dormitories and returned to Lao without authorization. Meanwhile, the Lao Ministry of Education and Sports issued a notice yesterday stating that the students had left their dormitory in Vietnam in accordance with the report from the Lao Consulate in Da Nang, Vietnam. Only 39 of the students held valid passports while the remainder did not. The students returned to their homes in Swakavina, Sabaha, and Kamos provinces. The summer vacation period for students at Kwa Tri Medical College is from July 20th to 25th of August. In late July, the Students Manage Management Board at the university found 56 students missing from the dormitory. Two other students returned to the university in Vietnam, but were discovered and placed into quarantine by the Vietnamese authorities. The Lao Prime Minister and the National Task Force have assigned the provisional offices of education and sports in Swabaka Sabha uh, to, uh, with locating the students and ensuring they are placed in quarantine for 14 days. Following the quarantine period, if the students do not exhibit symp symptoms of COVID-19, they and their parents or guardians are to be reprimanded for breaking the laws and regulations of border, uh, border both countries. Those who failed to make themselves known and enter quarantine will not be permitted to return to Vietnam to complete their studies. Lao has confirmed 22 cases. Okay, so this is why this is important for international. One, I learned that Da Nang has the Lao consulate. I thought it was Ho Chi Minh, cool. But even though many students may come in, and this happens in America as well, they come in on travel visa, or student visa, then they overstay their studies, and then they try to leave, but, the, but their visa is expired. Okay, fine. That may not be the case in these students, but that's one instance. Another instance is maybe these students did go home, but now they're either human trafficking or they're bringing in drugs, so or whatever, illegal, um, illegal products. So that's why they should go into a, a port of entry. Now, thirdly, you have these people that are coming in that may or may not be sick because while they did travel from Da Nang to Lao, which, by the way, that's pretty much going across the country, uh, they could have easily walked past somebody who had COVID and got sick themselves, and now they're bringing it in. So this is why immigration borders and laws have to be enforced, whether it's by the government or the, the citizens in this case need to be responsible. What is your thought on this, though? 
do you think you should be able to just easily return to your home country, no questions asked, or what should people do if they overstay their visa, or should they stay put? Leave your opinions below. Like, comment, subscribe. I want to know. Hi. The small clip you saw was brought to you by Loyal World News. If you like what you saw, you should subscribe and, tune and look up my daily Loyal Real News report for its full version. If you don't want to watch it on YouTube, prefer to be on the road, I also have a podcast in, in every full-length video I put up.